Flashpoint by Cleveland Open Cup. Clean and dry the sample cup before each use. Place the tester in a firm and level position on a solid, vibration-free surface. The location should be free of or shielded from drafts. Shield the top of the tester from strong light to make the flash easier to see. Position the thermometer 6.4 plus or minus 1 millimeter above the bottom of the sample cup. A BBR mold end piece is a useful shim to set this depth. The thermometer should be positioned approximately halfway between the center and outside edge of the cup opposite the test flame mounting position. Maintain the sample heating oven at 163 degrees Celsius. Heat the sample in a container with a loosely fitted lid for the minimum time necessary to completely liquefy the sample. Manually stir the sample without incorporating air bubbles. Fill the cup to the filling mark 9 to 10 millimeters below the rim. The cup can be filled away from the tester if the temperature measuring device depth has been set before the test. Light the test flame and adjust the diameter to 3.8 to 5.4 millimeters. Heat the sample at the rate specified in the test procedure. When the sample reaches test temperature, begin passing the test flame across the sample at 2 degrees C intervals. Move the flame in a continuous motion across the sample in one second. Move the flame in a horizontal plane no more than 2.5 millimeters above the top edge of the cup. Move the flame in one direction for each pass, reversing direction for the next pass. If a film forms on the surface of the sample, gently move it aside with a spatula, paper clip, or other suitable implement prior to the next pass of the test flame. From 28 degrees C below the expected flash point, be careful not to disturb the vapors in the flash cup. If the sample foams during the last 28 degrees C below the expected flash point, the test is invalid. A large flame that propagates across the surface of the sample is a positive flash point result. A halo or enlargement of the test flame is not considered a positive flash point. Continue to apply the test flame until the large flame is observed. Record the temperature when a flash point is observed. Calculate the corrected flash point using the formula in section 8.1 of the test method. Report the corrected flash point to the nearest whole number in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius.